what's happening guys it's may 5th 2024 figured it's time to give you guys an update on the lawn to tell you about what's been going on uh, we're getting into the month of may now grass should all be greening up as it should temperatures have been climbing up to the 83 evening time has been around 73 68 around that around that temperature um, I fertilized the lawn twice now with 12 zero 24 and pushing more nitrogen now I've actually dropped some diesel exhaust fluid into my applications so I'm pushing a little bit more nitrogen um, to get that growth going and green up so we got some huge amount of rain this past month um, in April I'm going to talk about April even though we're in May because I'm going to talk about the you know, what's been going on so that you guys can kind of understand what what's been happening here but uh yeah so i um for the month of april i laid the 12024 at four pounds per thousand square foot uh, with that rate that gives me a full pound of uh, potassium for the month of april and then it's a half pound of nitrogen and then i laid six ounces of turfplex six ounces of neutrozolve i did that uh two times Last month, uh, with the turf flex, six ounces gives me a 0.1 pound of nitrogen. So my total all in um, for the month would be 0.7 pounds of nitrogen uh, for the month of April. I noticed like there was a lot of uh, dead spots, or I guess I would call them dormant spots in the lawn. Kind of like. You know, like when you look at your lawn, you see it's greening up and then there's like some spots of like that seem like it's still dormant. So I felt like maybe I needed to uh, put more nitrogen into it because I uh, wasn't seeing any of that stuff go away. So I did uh, put some diesel exhaust fluid. Um, before I get into that, I did notice we, we had Bermuda mites. So I had to go ahead and lay down Delta Guard G. I still had half a bag. So I laid that at uh, two pounds per thousand and that would, that would cover 5,000 square foot. So I didn't really get that side over there, but I got everything else. I got the center lawn, I got this side, and then I got also this. And the Bermuda mites were actually spreading because uh, I, at one point I was mowing without the grass catcher. So I was throwing the clippings back into the grass. And then I started noticing that the Bermuda mites infestation was actually uh, taking, taking place and going around more throughout the lawn. So I went ahead and Lay Delta Guard G. That was probably like two weeks ago. Uh, two pounds per thousand to finish off that bag that I had left. And uh, we got some rain in immediately. I think that evening that I had laid it. So hopefully um, that takes care of it for a while. I think I'm going to have to deal with Bermuda mites uh, every season. I mean, they're just not going to go away. There's no way to really kill them. It's kind of like your grub control <coughs> that you do annually. I'm gonna have to do the same thing with the Bermuda mites. It's just my lawn has it, unfortunately. So, what well, my plan is, I'm probably gonna do Delta Guard G, uh, like every three months. So I just did it for the month of April. So maybe I'll be laying it again, like sometime toward the end of July, uh, just to keep it controlled. And uh, I also did lay grub control as well, because I saw a lot of June bugs actually appearing up here in my front doorstep, like my front porch right here. So, you know, um, I've never really had a grub infestation and never really had grub problems on the lawn. To say that, you know, this is only my second year in lawn care, I went ahead and just bought uh, a grub control liquid, which was uh, Dominion 2L. And you spray that at uh, 0.6 ounces per thousand. So I used the backpack sprayer and then used the flood jet nozzle to apply it um, throughout the lawn just to prevent, you know, potential damage from grubs this year, if any. With that, I also, that's when I laid in my uh, diesel exhaust fluid. So I had mixed in 0.6 ounces of uh, Dominion 2L in my backpack sprayer. And then I also put diesel exhaust fluid into the backpack. And then I sprayed both of that with the uh, flood jet nozzle into the grass. And then I think we, we got rain immediately like that, that evening. So. It's been great. I mean, like, 
pretty much like I don't, I really don't have to water stuff in this uh, this past month because of, we got so much rain. I wish we get that kind of rain in the summer once we hit June, July. But um, seeing how it was last year, we were like pretty much drought heavy. Like we were, we had no rain for like several months. I wanna, I wanna say we were going off like three and a half months with no rain. So, you know, we take what we can with you know the rain we can get but unfortunately it's just like uncontrollable it's like to the point where it's like flooding and uh i'll show some videos of it like how it looked but it was basically what i've been like, telling you guys it's like, kind of like a river over here and just flows right off that curve on that side i could see there's a ton of pot puddles that were developing in the center lawn so i took pictures of that so i know exactly where you know the low spots are and I'll be focusing on those areas when I do my sand leveling uh, later this month. Yeah, there's just uh, uncontrollable water throughout the throughout the month. But uh, I do plan on doing top dressing with sand uh, toward the end of this month, hopefully. I usually do it um, on Memorial Weekend. That's kind of the my ritual that I've been doing it. So the weekend of uh, Memorial Day. That's when I uh, order the sand and then start doing my top dressing. And I like to do it all together with aeration. So I like to aerate like the day before and then uh, fertilize it, you know, stick my Carbon Pro G, stick my granular fertilizer, uh, Turf Plex Nutrisolve, and then uh, next day have the sand delivered and then top dress it and then let that grow through. So that's the plan for this month, month of May. But let me go ahead and give you a recap of everything that's been applied to the lawn. So beginning of the month, I applied 12024, uh, six ounces of Turf Plex, six ounces of Nutrizolve. Um, I did not introduce PGR yet at that time. I actually introduced PGR, uh, the second application of the month for April. So you know how I do the Turf Plex and the Nutrizolve uh, twice a month. So when it was time for the second app for that, I did the six ounces of Turf Plex, six ounces of Nutrizolve. Then I introduced a really low rate of PGR to the lawn, which is which was at 0.125 ounces per thousand, and uh, was just trying to see like what would happen um, if I you know apply that low rate just to see how the grass respond, and didn't really notice anything. And then um, so for the May application, so I, I've been doing my applications kind of like the week before the month. That's kind of how I have been spacing them out. So the last week of April which was just like last week. I applied my, my second half of uh, 12024, but I did at a lower rate because I was just trying to finish off the bag before you know, I start off the 14, 714. So I basically laid uh, two pounds per thousand square foot of the 12024. So that only gave me uh, 0.25 pounds of nitrogen. So it was actually even lower than what I had started out for the month of April. And six ounces of Turfplex, six ounces of Nutrizolve, and I did 0.375 ounces of PGR. So yeah, I went ahead and did the, uh, the, the half of the max rate for common Bermuda. So the, the, the max rate for common Bermuda is 0.75 uh, per month. So I did a half of that, 0.375. And I laid that with uh, Turfplex and Nutrizolve. And I did notice a change after like a few days, like the grass, um, I, I just noticed that the grass started looking a little bit more flatter. I don't know how to explain it, but it just looked like, I, I just knew it wasn't growing. Like the grass wasn't vertically growing. And then I could see kind of the leaf blades starting to kind of thicken up. And some of these, uh, know, some of these little spriggets or these uh, stolons, you can actually pull them out let me see if I can find one here. You can see how like that has thickened up. I don't I don't have a an older picture or older older example of the the grass, but you can see how like the there's more blades that are growing out of it. So that's basically what's been happening uh, when I when I have applied PGR now. So overall, I think the the lawn does look like it's thickening up quite a bit. So which is a which is great. This is what I wanted, right? So um it's looking good now and given the fact that i laid uh, a low amount of nitrogen uh, for the month of may i had to add some diesel exhaust fluid into it 
So just last week, uh, I applied fungicide Headway G. I do notice that I was getting some weird spots like this. I'm assuming this is fungus related. I do not, I'm not too familiar with fungus. Like I said, this is my second year doing lawn care. Um, this started appearing uh, early in the month of April. I was thinking it was gonna go away, but never did. I have another section right here, a smaller one. So I'm assuming this is fungus, it may not even be. I don't, I don't think it's grubs either. So not too sure what it is. So I applied Headway G, I, I had a half a bag left. So I laid uh, half a bag of Headway G, which was about 15 pounds, laid it over 6,000 square feet. So it put me at around two and a half pounds per thousand. Um, and that got watered in. I added some, I did some diesel exhaust fluid again. I did it at 10 ounces per thousand, so then 0.1 uh, pounds of nitrogen, which uh, which has greened up the lawn quite a bit. And uh, I did start out my granular effort for the month of, of May. So let me explain this a little bit. I am scheduling it where I'm applying it kind of like the week before the month starts. So the last week of April, I applied uh, you know my granular effort for the month of May. And I had 12024, so that was the plan. So I applied 12024, but it was only 40% uh, uh, of the bag. So I did it at two pounds per thousand square foot, which was the remaining like, of the stuff that was in the bag, right? I finished that bag up. So that basically gave me two pounds per thousand square foot. And that gives me uh, 0.25, so a quarter pound of nitrogen. And then the diesel exhaust fluid that I had laid with the headway G, which is a 0.1. So then 0.35, and I also did my Turfplex, Nutrizolve, and PGR, and that's another uh, 0.1. So I'm at 0.45 right now. And then next week, my second, my second app, when I lay down my Turfplex and Nutrizolve, I am going to put my 14714, but I'm doing it uh, half bag. So that is going to be uh, half a pound of nitrogen. That's, that's going to be in there. Another turf flex, another 0.1, so that's 0.6 right there. And then I might do diesel exhaust fluid as well. So I'll, I'll be going over uh, the one pound of nitrogen for the month, but it's okay because it's not really hot. We're not at the 100 degree temps yet uh, for summer or even 90 degrees, right? We're still kind of in the 80s. So I think it's safe to go ahead and put uh, higher doses of nitrogen just to get the lawn to green up and uh, thicken up. Um, there has been some theories on push zone which uh, I'm looking into but basically saying that you know between the month of uh, April and May is kind of when you want to push everything push the growth of your your lawn so you dump uh, high doses of nitrogen whether it be twice a week or once a week uh, just get get the grass to keep growing grow grow through these uh, these temperatures of 80 degrees so get it to grow and then once you hit summer and it gets a lot hotter to like the 90s and hundreds you slow down Right, you, you don't hit it as hard as, as you would with the nitrogen. Uh, you just keep it at optimal uh, amounts for the month. But uh, I don't want to deter away from my plan, honestly. So originally, I was going to, I had already put it on my calendar. You know, I was going to put the remaining amounts of uh, 12024 for the month of May. And then I was, that's only giving me a quarter pound of nitrogen. And then second half of May, I was going to put in the 14714. Uh, at 3.33 pounds per thousand square foot, which is going to be uh, about half pound of nitrogen. So then my all-in uh, with granular would be 0.75 pounds of nitrogen. And then you got Turfplex that's applied twice. That's 0.2. So that gives me a 0.95 pounds of nitrogen. And then I also had a diesel exhaust fluid at 0.1. So that gives me uh, 0.105. Yeah. And then I plan to do it again another diesel exhaust fluid to water in the second part of the granular, right? So that's going to be 1.15 pounds of nitrogen for the month of May, which is totally fine in my honest opinion. I think it's okay to go over one pound of nitrogen per month. Some people have actually done a lot more than that. Uh, I've been reading on the Facebook group, Bermuda Lawn Dominators group, that some of these guys are pounding two pounds of nitrogen per week but they're mowing like crazy, right? So they're mowing almost like every day, which is fine if you have time for that, um, so be it. And I think it's a good strategy, honestly. I, 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 I'm, I don't think you'll burn your lawn when the temperatures aren't as hot as they are in the summer. 
So the push zone and all that stuff, I think that theory actually works, but I have yet to try it. Uh, I may try it next season, but um, it's just something that's been going in my head. That I think it's kind of a good idea. And the reason why I bring that up is because uh, I noticed slow growth um, during the month of April. I mean, the temperatures weren't really hot. Like we were barely getting temperatures in the 80s during the day. We did hit a few times in the uh, like mid 80s like 83 or so but still like you can put a lot of nitrogen down during those times and not burn up your lawn something i'll look i'll look into uh, maybe next year to see to experiment so it's always cool to like experiment with your lawn um, every year but anyways that was that I'm, i stuck to the original plan with my 12 24 and then doing um i'm gonna do 14 7 14 next week so that's basically uh, what's happening We'll go from there. Like I said, uh, everything's been greening up nicely now. I honestly don't see any more of the dormant grass that I was seeing uh, the month of April. So I think that is kind of all going away now. Temperatures have been increasing. I'm giving it, you know, all, you know, pretty good levels of nitrogen. And like I said, I'm going to be top dressing. Uh, that's the plan for some time this month, probably toward the end of the month, like toward the uh, Memorial weekend. I plan on top dressing with sand and then uh, hopefully that's going to level it pretty well where I may not have to do it next year and maybe do it every other year from that point going forward but we'll have to wait and see uh, how it turns out but yeah that's the plan guys for the month of May stay tuned a uh, lot, lot, lot of stuff going on and hopefully I'll capture it all on video for you to entertain you guys but that's it for now, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching. But stay tuned, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see all that stuff. Anyways, peace out and happy mowing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.